Have you ever wondered why AI can pass a bar exam but can't fold a towel? While LLMs are trained on roughly 15 trillion tokens of text, a child learns about the world 50 times faster just by watching things move. Most AI today is just guessing the next word, but a new breakthrough from Meta suggests we've been doing it all wrong. While most AI today acts like a student talking before they think, painfully predicting one word at a time, Meta's Jan LeCun is shifting the focus from talking to genuine understanding. His new research argues that language isn't the same as intelligence, proving that humans think in meanings and images rather than just text tokens. This breakthrough suggests a future where AI builds an internal map of reality, finally moving past the slow and messy limitations of traditional large language models. Meta's new system, called VJEPA, Vision Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture, is trying to prove him right. This isn't just another chatbot. It's a new kind of AI that understands the world through video and meaning, rather than just guessing the next word in a string of text. Could this be the beginning of the end for the LLM era? If you think about it, a four-year-old child has seen way more visual information than any AI has ever read in text. A kid knows that if they drop a glass, it will break. They know that if a ball rolls behind a couch, it's still there. They don't need to read a million books to understand gravity or object permanence. LLMs, on the other hand, are trained on basically the entire internet's worth of text. They can pass the bar exam or solve complex math problems, yet they struggle to do basic chores like folding laundry or clearing a table. Have you ever wondered why we have AI that can write poetry, but we don't have a robot that can reliably clean a kitchen? It's because LLMs don't understand the physical world. They only understand how words relate to other words. This is where VJEPA comes in. It's a non-generative model. Instead of trying to fill in missing pixels in a video or missing words in a sentence, it predicts the meaning of what is happening. It builds an internal map of reality. This is a massive shift in how we build smart machines. Instead of teaching a machine to speak, we are teaching it to perceive. Let's look at how this actually works in practice. Imagine a video of someone picking up a container. A standard, cheap vision AI looks at that video frame by frame. It sees a hand, then a bottle, then a movement. It shouts out guesses. Hand, bottle, lifting. It's jumpy and has no memory of what happened a second ago. It's just reacting to whatever is right in front of its eyes. VJEPA does something much more human. It watches the video and creates a meaning vector. Instead of labeling every frame, it tracks the action over time. In the research, they use a dot cloud to show what the AI is thinking. You might see red dots, which are the AI's instant gut-feeling guesses. These might be wrong at first. Maybe it thinks the person is holding a pizza box. But then you see blue dots. These blue dots represent stabilized understanding. As the video continues, the AI gathers evidence until it locks in on the truth. The person is picking up a canister. The big difference here is time. VJEPA understands that an action has a beginning, a middle, and an end. It doesn't just see a picture, it understands a process. Do you think an AI needs to be able to explain itself in words to be considered intelligent? Or is the understanding itself enough? One of the most mind-blowing parts of this new research is the extreme efficiency. We are used to hearing about AI models getting bigger and bigger, requiring massive warehouses of computers to run. But VJEPA is different. Because it doesn't waste energy generating every single word or pixel, it is incredibly lean. It uses about half the parameters of traditional vision language models while reaching the same or better performance levels. In the world of machine learning, getting better results with half the brain size is like a car going twice as fast while using half the fuel. It's a huge breakthrough because it uses latent space to ignore the noise. If you are watching a car drive down a street, you don't need to model every single atom or every leaf on a tree. You just need to know the car is moving from point A to point B. By focusing only on the physics of the situation, VJEPA avoids the pixel level trap that slows down other systems. This is the post-LLM world people are starting to talk about. If we want robots that can help us at home, or cars that can truly drive themselves, they can't rely on predicting the next word. 
They need to be able to plan in the physical world. Think about a self-driving car. If a ball rolls into the street, a human driver knows a child might be running right behind it. We don't need to talk to ourselves to figure that out. We just understand the causal dynamics of the world. Current AI struggles with this because it's too busy trying to calculate every tiny pixel or text token. Vijepa, by thinking in pure meaning, can do something called counterfactual reasoning. That's a fancy way of saying it can imagine what-if scenarios. What if that object moves behind that wall? Where will it come out? Yang LeCun often points out that a teenager learns to drive in about 20 hours. They don't need a map of every crack in the road, they just understand how driving works. This model is the first step toward getting AI to learn like that teenager. While the current demo might mislabel a side of pizza or trip up on a specific tool, focusing on these glitches misses the bigger picture. The shift from generation to understanding. We've been obsessed with chatbots that can talk, but we're finally moving toward AI that can actually reason in meaning rather than just tokens. In this new model, language is an optional output, making the system faster, more stable, and far more practical for real-world robotics. By prioritizing a grounded truth of reality over the flashy hallucinations of text models, we are entering a paradigm where AI learns physics just by watching. It's no longer about who can talk the most, it's about which machine truly understands the world it lives in. This paper from Meta's FAIR, Fundamental AI Research Lab, is a signal. It's telling the industry that we might have reached the limits of what just predicting the next word can do. To get to the next level, to get to AI that actually behaves like a human or an animal, we need systems that can see, observe, and understand the silent physics of the world around them. It's a move away from the hallucinations of chatbots and a move toward the grounded truth of reality. It's early days, but the scoreboard shows that these non-generative models are learning faster and reaching higher levels of quality than the giants we use today. The era of the LLM has been incredible, but the era of the world model is just beginning. It's not about who can talk the most anymore. It's about who understands the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.